Okay, I want to introduce the syllogism. What is meant by syllogism is when you take two premises, you know what one premise is, you take another premise, put them together some way to draw a third premise called the conclusion. So let's reason to uh, the essential attributes of a syllogism. We know if it's first premise, we have to have a subject and a predicate. And we know for the second premise, we have to have a subject and a predicate. And we know for the conclusion, we have to have a subject and a predicate. So now, if there's going to be some connection drawn between two premises, it, ha it can't be drawn through just the assertion of is or is not. So it has to be drawn through either the subject or the predicate of one of the terms or both. Now if it's both the subject and the predicate, then the first premise would be the same as the second premise. So that's not possible. So we see that we have to have we have to have a connection drawn, some kind of a connection drawn between one of the terms in the first premise and one of the terms in the second premise and also that the second remaining term must be different. Now right now we don't know which of those terms is which but we do know that say if we had a term here that the conclusion is drawn through it's got to be either here or here. For example say if it was here that there is the same term the same term and if we have to have the same term to draw to have a connection that's already established because uh, otherwise we'd have to make one up and that's the whole point of, of doing a syllogism is not making up but reasoning to the truth so we have to have one same term we know these have to be different we don't know which ones exactly but just for an example let's just put y and z now we also know for the conclusion we can't just conclude something out of midair if we're going to be reasoning and doing formal proofs. So we have to, for our terms, we have to have one or another of these terms. So which term, which terms is it? Well, the conclusion can't be the same as this, so it can't be x and y. It can't be the same as this, so it can't be z and x. So we see that it could be it could be x and z, but no, it can't be because x and x are the common term. So it ends up that the, the, the two remainder terms have to form the conclusion. We don't know if it's y or z or z or y, but we'll just put z and y or y and z. And we'll probably just put y and z. Doesn't matter. Either way. Okay. So we just reason to the to, we just reason to the essence of the syllogism. We have to have two premises, one co one common term, two different terms. We have to have a conclusion. Has to have the two different terms have to be the terms that form the conclusion. That's the form of the syllogism. What how many forms that can take is on the next. Uh, little video and I'm going to leave that's from a pr the, pr the previous series that was done and I'm going to leave it on there because it was pretty well done so um, I, I didn't have any problems with, with it to redo it and so uh, that's that's the next video